Let's talk about scene number nine. This one's called Retro Glow. And it's just a beautiful 1980s retro scene. And the, uh, the parameters are pretty self-explanatory here. We have a gradient, which we can add some really nice vibrant colors to. If we wanted to do a neon green, we can do that up in the sky here. And we can also turn off or on the sun and the mountains just by a little check mark here. And not only that, but we can play around with the size, the radius of that sun. We can move the sun up and down like it's rising. We can play with the mountain scale, the size, the height, all that kind of stuff. The grid on the bottom is fully customizable. You can change the size or the spacing. And we also have a light on top here. So if we turn that off, we can see that our hero object here is pretty dim and then we can turn it on to light that up. So it might be a nice thing to animate your power slider and have that hero object just kind of light up in the foreground there. And then um, we also have a gradient, which is for the light on top. So the light being cast on this hero object right now is white and pink, but we can easily change that by changing these knots. So now we'll have a green hue on there. That is scene number nine, Retro Glow, and it has all those 1980s vibes.